Let's take a look at VirtualBox version 5 and let's do an upgrade. As you can see in our URL, it's virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads. And you want to download the Windows host if you're trying to install it, say, on Windows 10 or some other Windows operating system. So once we've downloaded it, we can go ahead and go to our downloads area and we can run the installation. Now we already currently have VirtualBox uh, version uh, 5.016, but we're going to go to the latest version, 5.1.18. So let's go ahead and make sure when you hit the drop down, you want to have the entire feature will be installed on the hard drive. So that way you don't have to keep going back and install additional features later. So let's go ahead and click next, leave all the defaults if you want, and click yes to the warning about the network interfaces may get a disconnection temporarily and go ahead and install and it doesn't usually take very long about a minute or so unless you have a very slow computer now one thing to keep in mind with this upgrade is that sometimes it can corrupt your VirtualBox servers or workstations that you have so make sure that you run a backup of those VirtualBox uh, virtual machines before you run the upgrade and always choose the install button when prompted. Also make sure that your VirtualBox program is turned off before you run the upgrade as well. All right, so now we'll go ahead and click finish and we'll say go ahead and start the VirtualBox version. All right, so you can see there's all my VirtualBox machines. Let's uh, double click on one and make sure it all still works okay. And it looks like we're starting up. Let's go back to our VirtualBox Manager and go to Help, About. And we can see that uh, we have upgraded to the latest and greatest version. So that's how you upgrade VirtualBox uh, to the latest version. And in this case, we went up to 5.1.